Right now here along Fairbanks going up to I-4, it's just dirt and some fencing, but soon there could be a long row of multicolored poles the size of three men. These pictures show what this art project would look like for drivers heading west on Fairbanks and Winter Park to get onto I-4 East. The multicolored poles would start just past Skycraft Parts and Surplus, the landmark store owned by Keith Fiedler's family. It's an interesting look, I think. Um, I, it, kind of a fresh look, I guess, to the you know the beginning of Winter Park. Yeah. This project in Winter Park involves 100 poles, 18 feet high, bent in the middle with dozens of colors. The $150,000 for the installation coming from the I-4 Ultimate Project, which set aside $1.5 million for six Central Florida cities and Orange County to pay for public art installations. So drivers will have a more interesting and cultural view. Eatonville, Maitland, Orlando, and Altamont Springs were also chosen for the art endowment. The Winter Park is the first to come up with a plan. Fiedler says his main concern on the road outside Skycraft is congestion. Hopefully it won't impact the traffic because that's the biggest problem right now. There's no turn lane out here anymore. The plans put together by the firm Rogers, Lovelock, and Fritz also show the poles are able to break away if someone were to crash into them to meet F. Light pole standards. If the project gets final approval, it should be installed by this time next year. Reporting in Winter Park, Bob Hazen, West 2 News.